This video is a second in a series of downloading and installing AutoCAD to a Windows PC. In the first video, I had you create an account at Autodesk.com. Now we're going to pick up and go to the products page so that we can download the appropriate copy of AutoCAD 2020 to our desktop or to our downloads folder and install from there. So I'm presuming that you've already gone to Autodesk.com, you've created your account, you've gone back to your student email. Remember, it requires a student email for you to have your account at Autodesk.com and for you to download educational copies of the software. So if you haven't done that, please go back to step one in the previous video so that you can see that. I'm assuming that you've done that and I'm picking up at a point where you're going to log into your Autodesk account now so that you can access the product's location. So as I go forward here, I'm now back at autodesk.com forward slash education. And as I'm here, I want you to notice that I'm in the Get Started Unlock Educational Access to Autodesk Products. All the Autodesk products offer a three-year license for you to use as students. Now, it requires a valid student email address. It requires validation through our institution. And for that, you get a free trial, which is for three years. Now, if you were in class, I would have you take an oath that basically goes like this. This is educational software, fully functional, it's in every way a fully functional seat of AutoCAD that you will have on your computer. However, it is education based, meaning there will be no agreement with Autodesk to allow any of us to make money or to make any kinds of lines, circles, and arcs into drawings that will make their way into a commercial version of AutoCAD. If it does, then Autodesk polices that, and they have their own software uh, surveillance system that basically will find it. And unfortunately for the company or architect or engineer you may have found your way to make money with, um, it's not you that's going to get hurt as the student. It's going to be the entity you do business with. So my oath is basically this. Let your conscience be your guide. Use it for educational purposes only. When you go to make that transition into industry, your company will likely provide you with whatever seat of software you're going to need. If you are deciding to go into business for yourself, Autodesk does make a conversion process available for emerging professionals, and this is why you're a marketing prospect. So just know that Autodesk is here to support you. This is not in any way, shape, or form a light version of the software. This is a fully functional seat of AutoCAD. The retail value, if you were to buy it, so to speak, from Autodesk in its full capacity would be about $5,000. But for the most part, the terms and the way that we would purchase the software in today's world would be more on a subscription agreement. So you have to look at it this way. Instead of making a one-time large payment, you're going to make a one-time down payment and then pay a monthly subscription fee from that point forward. If you're in business for yourself then that becomes a part of what you charge in your business and in your business uh, fee structure. So this video isn't about that. This video is about getting the software and downloading the software. We're going to do that right now. So we're going to take ourselves either back to get started or to sign in. I'm going to click in on the sign in link and it's going to take me to my Autodesk account. Now I've had an Autodesk account for a very long time. That's my Autodesk account. Yours will be your email address. I'm going to click Next. It goes through a verification process. Then I will go ahead and put in my password. And I will sign in. And as I do that, you notice that it customizes the uh, view for me. It recognizes me and it authenticated me. 
So I am valid. My educational access is valid through June 24th, 2021. Well, that's just saying that I, I have other products in play and I have other things that I'm doing and at other times. But since I'm a teacher, you, you know, my date is going to vary. Yours should be three years. What I'm looking for now is to navigate this page, which is the products page, to AutoCAD. And I want to notice here that I have AutoCAD and I have the Windows label and I have AutoCAD for Mac with the Apple label or logo. In this case, I'm not going through the process of installing AutoCAD for Mac. Unfortunately, I'm not a Mac user. I mean, I could install it, I just don't have a Mac. So in this case, I'm going to go to Get Product for AutoCAD Windows. Get Product AutoCAD Windows. I'm going to click on that. And it's immediately going to take me to the latest version, which for education has been released as 2021. I'm going to ask you please to download 2020. At this point, in this window you also have a down arrow that gives you install options. You can either with a stable internet connection install directly or you can go to download. Either way with a stable internet connection and today's internet connections you would expect that a download would probably take maybe five minutes or so. This is about a six gigabyte download. The point to that is, is that it's going to go through an installation process immediately to install it on your computer. Please make this note that if you're installing to a laptop and you decide that you want to do this process, which takes about an hour, hour and a half to completely install, you're going to want to make sure that your laptop or your desktop power options are set to continuously on with AC power. Please don't try and install on a battery that's halfway depleted. Please don't have your laptop go to sleep on close. I know some, you know, it's we want to make our laptop kind of work for us when it's open and then go to sleep. But in this case, you have to make sure that you download with all of your bases for um, downloading to be in a continuous on position. So I have a stable internet connection and I'm just going to go to the install and it says uh, yeah, I'm accepting the terms of use. Now if I actually click on the terms of use I can open that up in a new tab and I want to show you the terms of use here which is a very very lengthy very lengthy end user license agreement. So there is a lot here to it it's a lot because you are subjecting yourself to being a marketing prospect, but I highly encourage you to at least look at the highlights of this so that you understand what you're getting into. And if that presents a problem for you, please, please, please talk to me. Um, I know some of us are very security conscience, conscious. Um, I can assure you that Autodesk has been around a very long time. They are a reputable company. Um, they are number one in the industry. There is no one else bigger. So they are to the CAD and 3D modeling software is what auto or what uh, Microsoft and Google are to the operating system world. So I've accepted those terms and agreements here by clicking the button. And it's going to bring me to a pop-up window here, which is going to ask me to save a web install file. Now, if any of you are familiar with um, the the uh, aspect of downloading and and um, having uh, uh, downloads happen from multiple sources that's what Autodesk is doing it's basically making a torrent available of Autodesk servers that exist out there all over the world and it's going to provide us with a with a relatively quick installation uh, file that will be executable and we can ready ourselves uh, to install AutoCAD 2020. So I'm going to um, validate that this ended up in my downloads folder and in fact it did so I'm going to take you to my downloads location and here it is. 
Now, this is an application. This is going to go to create a torrent. There's nothing else to install here. The installer is self-contained. I'm going to click on this installer and I'm going to enter or double click. Now, if you are using Windows 10, it's very important that um, the next step be validated, and that is you want to install anyway. This is not a product that's available through the App Store uh, in the Windows world, so we have to go to Install Anyway. And as I do that, it's going through the process of Install Now. It is extracting and as you can see my screen went blank. I'm going to say yes to install now and now it's going to bring up a window that will show me the rest of the way on setup initiation through all of the components that will be downloaded. And Like I said this is about a five or a six gigabyte download. I'm going to pause this video now and we'll pick it up on the other side. This is how we, we get to download AutoCAD 2020 for Windows. Okay, now you see that in fact I have gone to the install window. What I want to do now, this checkbox does not mean that it's installed. This checkbox means now that you can see I have the install button configured and ready to go. Now I can click install and now it's going through all the components that this process may take upwards of an hour to complete. So at this point I'm not going to pause the download but I'll come back in the video um, when this installation is complete and we're on the other side. Alright, so I'm picked up on the other side and uh, that was probably in real time uh, represented about 20 minutes uh, of my time to install. So you notice now that I have a window that is telling me that I've successfully installed the selected products. It says please review any product information alerts. Um, notice that I have green check marks next to all of the different uh, installations that were made. I do have an informational tag here that says the help for your installed product is internet based and when you were using the product help will be accessed automatically provided you have an internet connection so there is no book anymore um, that's just not the way it works so if you need to install a local copy of help for use when you don't have access to the internet you can obtain it from here this is a basic help system if you click on this uh, link uh, it will take you to uh, location so that you can do a PDF version of basic help installation. So at this point I'm ready to go and I'm actually ready to test my installation of AutoCAD now. So if I pick up in the next video that will complete the series on going from download to install to completion. Thanks.